everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Here is last week's basket, and there are some products on top that are new to me, so I'm going to haul those for you. And yeah, I'm just going to talk about what I've been up to. I'm going to haul some products and pick some products to wear for the upcoming week. So if this sounds like something you want to see, then let's get started. Here we go. Okay, let me go over what I'm keeping in here. Um, some things aren't really going to change. I have some Project Pan items that I'm keeping in here. So this Clinique highlight, this little um, blush thing, and then this eyeshadow thing, and then this uh, eyebrow powder. All that's going to stay in. I'm going to leave my Lorac Pro 3 if you haven't seen it, this is pretty. I hauled it in two weekly makeup baskets ago. Absolutely um, love it. So I'm going to keep that in here. I'm going to keep these face products. It's the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer and Nude, the True Match Lumi and W3 Warm, and the Maybelline Better Skin and Light. I'm going to keep all those in there. Also going to keep in these same eye products. I have um, eyeliners, mascaras that I've been talking about for the last few weeks. And then the same lippies that I've been talking about for a while. Um, so yeah, I talk about them in every video so I won't go too much into it. But let me get into what I hauled. So the first thing was at Ulta. And I had the NYX Yellow... Um, pencil that was like a brush applicator and I love the color it was vivid halo but I can't use that applicator that well so I picked up the NYX electro liner and this is in power lines and so it's just a normal twist up applicator and I thought that this applicator would be easier for me to use so I did get that and I just gave the other one to my cousin because she's better at using those brush tip applicators the other I got was this was an impulse buy but this is bare minerals marvelous moxie buttercream and this is in the color um what is that flirty moth so these were on sale at Ulta for half price and the day that I happened to go so I just picked it up and this is the color. And I just think it's really pretty. Um, it's a sheer wash of color. It does add a mauve tint. But it's not anything too crazy. And it does have a little bit of a um, mint to it. So look at that. It's just a nice mauve hint of color. I've been wearing this a lot. And I really like it. Um, I will play with it some more this week. And then I went to Sephora, and I just have it in this bag because I had to fly with it. So I, um, I mean in this tissue paper, so I took it out of the bag and just wrapped it in tissue paper. Anyways, the first thing I got was Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It's one of their Quench Lip Rescues, and this one is in the color Berry. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I only got this because the packaging is so freaking cute. What would Lizzie do? Um, she hauled it. And I was like, oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? I love teal and gold for starters. And it has these little like starfish on it. It's so cute. And this also is a sheer wash of color. Um, it looks really dark in the pan. But when you swatch it, you see it's just kind of a clear tint with a clear color with a berry tint. So this has a mintiness to it, which I don't mind. But just keep that in mind if it's something you've been eyeing. And then the other thing I picked up was from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's one of their singles, and it is in pink champagne. I almost bought the self-made palette for just this color alone. Um, but, <laughs> you know, tw what, that palette was like $24 or $28, something in there. Um, it's too much for one color. And they were sold out of this color for a while on their website, but... I was at Sephora with my family, and I'm like, you know what, $12, I'm just going to go for it. And when I swatched it, I was like, yes. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? That's pink champagne right there. And, oh, I just love that's one swipe. So, yay! I had 
I'm going to pull this, but I'm going to put it in my Z palette in a few minutes. So, putting all these products aside, let's go into what else I'm going to pick, even though I am kind of already have a lot. Okay, this is my declutter drawer. I'm going to go ahead and grab NYX Banana Powder. That's one of their HD powders. I haven't used it for a week, and I missed it, so I am going to go ahead and grab this. Um... And I think that's all that I'm going to grab from here. Uh, so let me go on to the next drawer. Okay, these are all the products that I just remember I had in my bathroom from my trip. Um, I just got back last night, and today I'm just trying to get everything done as far as laundry and organizing my life and all that good stuff. So I did use this the whole week, the NYX Love in Paris. Absolutely love it. Got a ton of use out of it. And I loved the Naked Urban Decay Flesh Palette and Streak. Also got a lot of love at it, out of it. Absolutely love this L'Oreal Single Eyeshadow in 207. Gorgeous. This Dream Wonder Powder. Great, great, great. I love it. I pretty much am almost done with it, if you can see that. Um, this thing does not travel well. That's why it's kind of crumbly. But I am going to pick that for the week. And um, I'm going to go back to this Hangover RX by Too Faced for my primer. I really like this. And as you can see, I am almost done with it. So I'm going to grab that. And then also I'm going to continue to grab... You know what? I'm going to put this back for the week. It's the Bella Chiffon highlight that I've been using for a while. I'm going to put it back for the week and grab something different. So, I am going to zoom you in on eyeshadows and then we'll go from there. Okay, back here you can see um, my larger eyeshadow um, palettes. But what I want to grab in addition to the Lark 3 is this is my uh, Z palette. And I'm going to see if I can fit in the pink champagne that I got from Anastasia. Um, if not, I do have another Z palette that I can use. But in here I have, this is a Wet n Wild. Well, this whole section is Wet n Wild. This is an Ofra highlight. These are Makeup Geek, CoverGirl, and Mary Kay. So let me see if I can get that single eyeshadow to fit in here. I just went ahead and grabbed my other Z palette. So there is Pink Champagne, um, Anastasia, Morocco from uh, Makeup Geek. This is Bitten by Makeup Geek. This is the Ofra highlight slash eyeshadow, and it is in the color, I don't know, it doesn't say. And then that is, I think it's Heather Silk, maybe. It's the older formula of Wet n Wild. So I'm going to pull this. So I'll play with this palette in addition to the Lorac 3 Pro, like I said earlier. And let me organize this real quick. Okay, there we go. So let's zoom in on to face product. Alright, so from here I need a bronzer and... I really want to grab this uh, Urban Decay one, but I haven't played with this one in a while. This is the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I got the one in light, but I guess the one everyone raves about is bronzer, but this one's still okay. So um, I'm going to grab that. And then I have the one blush in that Z palette, and honestly, I think that's all I'm going to grab for blushes, but I do want to grab a, nope, I lied. I'm going to go with Milani Luminoso. I haven't played with this one in a while, so I am going to grab that. And then for highlight, I have not played with my one from Becca. This is in Pearl. I was with my family last week, and um, my brother's girlfriend got her first Becca highlight, and it made me remember mine, and that I need to pull it out so, um, that's what it looks like. It looks intimidating, but it blends out beautifully, and it just, you know, the light just hits it perfectly. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, and I don't know. I think that's it. Maybe? Okay, I have my face products. I have my eye products. And 
Is that it? Ugh, there we go. I think it fits. There we go. Um, I think that might be it for everything. Um, let me put my basket together and I'll be right back. Yeah, this is everything. So, eyeshadow palettes, face products, like the liquid form, powder face products, eyes and lips over here. Uh, thanks for watching. I want you to know that there are a lot of videos coming out on my channel. Coming up, I have a Project Pan finale. I have a Project Pan introduction that is going to be a collab with a few other ladies on YouTube. I have um, a couple of declutter videos, empty videos, haul videos. I have a lot coming out, so please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos. And I appreciate all of you staying here until the end. And yeah, I think that's all I have. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!